Dear students, this is the second problem on the topic Newton's forward interpolation. Find by suitable interpolation formula the value of f of 2.5 from the following data. Now here in the question, it is not mentioned what formula we have to use. Instead, they are asking us to find it by using a suitable interpolation formula for which first we have to identify what formula we have to use for this problem. Now if you see here, the values of x are placed in equidistant intervals that is they are in equal intervals. 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 4 is also 1. So we can see that it, ha it is placed in equal intervals which implies that we have to use either Newton's forward or Newton's backward interpolation formula. But if we observe the value to be interpolated is f of 2.5 that is the for the value of x equal to 2.5 we have to interpolate the value of y which is f of x. Now when x is equal to 2.5 we have to check out where this x lies. So if we see 2.5 lies between 2 and 3. So as it lies between these two values which are the forward values of x that is which are the beginning values of x we understand that we have to use Newton's forward interpolation formula. Now as the first step in order to use Newton's interpolation formula first we have to write the value of h where h is equal to the uh, length of the interval that is 3 minus 2 which is 1 or 4 minus 3 which is equal to 5 minus 4 all that gives us the value 1 which is the value of h so h is equal to 1 and then the value of u is equal to x minus x naught divided by h now what is this x x is the value which is to be interpolated so the value to be interpolated is 2.5 and so the value of x is equal to 2.5 and then the value of x naught is the first value of the table under x that is we know that this is x naught this is x1 x2 and x3 and the corresponding this value is y naught this is y1 y2 and y3 okay now the value of x naught is 2 so that we have to write here. So the value of u will be equal to x 2.5 minus x naught minus 2 divided by h. The value of h is 1. So 1. So therefore the value of u will be equal to 2.5 minus 2 which gives us the value 0 0.5. So this is the value of u. Now after finding the value of u, we have to form the difference table. Now here we have until u y3 and so the difference table has to go on until the delta cube of uh, y. So that is also a clue for us. So now here we have to draw the difference table. So I have already drawn here where I have taken and I have written all the values of x here. So 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the value of y which is f of x. That is 14.5, 16.3, 17.5 and 18. So I have taken and I have written all these values also. Now as the first step we have to find the value of delta y which is the difference that is 16.3 minus 14.5. So if you, for your understanding I am writing here but it is not necessary to write. Okay so 16.3 minus 14.5 we have to do. And what is that? So here we have 16.3 and then so I have written 16.3 minus 14.5 which is equal to 1.8. So here we get the value as 1.8 and this value is 17.5 minus 16.3 we have to write here. So what is that? Let us calculate. So 17.5 minus 16.3. 17.5 minus 16.3 is equal to 1.2. 
so let me write that here so 1.2 and then finally we have 18 minus a 17.5 so it is 18 minus 17.5 which is obviously 0 0.5 but still i'll show you here in the calculator 18 minus 17.5 which is equal to 0 0.5 so let us take that and write here so now the first uh, i mean this column is finished the first difference next we have to find delta squared of y so let us see that now so that is actually here it is 1.2 minus 1.8 so 1.2 minus 1.8 but you need not write this students for your understanding i'm just writing it so what is 1.2 minus 1.8 it will be ne the answer will be in negative first of all so we'll just try it in the calculator so it is 1.2 minus 1.8 and that is equal to negative 0 0.6 so minus 0 0.6 is the answer so that we have to take and write here so minus 0 0.6 so do not forget to write this negative sign okay yes now here we have 0 0.5 minus 1.2 so let us do that now 0 0.5 minus 1.2 and that is equal to minus 0 0.7 so we have to write that minus 0 0.7 so it was actually 0 0.5 minus 1.2 okay so minus 0 0.7 so now we have completed the second difference and finally we have to write the third difference which will be this value minus this value which is minus 0 0.7 minus of minus 0 0.6 so what will happen to this it will be minus 0 0.7 minus of minus will become plus 0 0.6 so it is like 0 0.6 minus 0 0.7 so uh, we have it as or you can also write it in this way minus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 so whatever is convenient convenient for you you can do you can either do it as 0 0.6 minus 0 0.7 or as it is you can type minus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 because it is a scientific calculator you are you can easily do this so 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 will be equal to minus 0 0.1 so that let me write here so minus 0 0.1 so we have arrived at one single value and uh, the del cube of y the third difference is also over now after this we have to um, mark a rectangle for all the first values of all in, of this difference table that is we will put all the values inside a box that is these first values that we have evaluated okay so that we have taken where this value is y naught this value is delta y naught this value is delta squared y naught and this value is delta cube y naught now these values we can use it in the formula so let us see that now so now i have written the formula here where i have stopped till delta cube y naught the formula the reason is we have the difference table we have found till delta cube y naught so we can stop the formula until there so now first of all y will be equal to y naught so now what is y naught y naught is this first value that is 14.5 so that we have to write so it will be 14.5 and then we have plus u what is the value of u that we have evaluated it is 0 0.5 so that we have to write so 0 0.5 divided by 1 factorial multiplied with delta y naught what is the value of delta y naught it is here we have evaluated here which is 1.8 so this value we have to write so 1.8 okay and then plus u here so u is what 0 0.5 multiplied with u minus 1 what is u u is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 minus 1 we have to do so if you want you can just uh, check it here in the calculator that is 0 0.5 minus 1 so if you see here 0 0.5 minus 1 i have written and that is equal to minus 0 0.5 
so that we have to write here so minus 0 0.5 the whole divided by 2 factorial so 2 factorial multiplied with delta square y naught what is delta squared y naught we have evaluated here it is minus 0 0.6 so let me write that here so negative 0 0.6 so i have written and then plus this term u so what is u u is 0 0.5 u minus 1 u minus 1 just now we evaluated u minus 1 is 0 0.5 minus 1 which we got it to be minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 we will write then we have u minus 2 u is what 0 0.5 minus 2 we have to find so let me do it here so if you see here u is 0 0.5 minus 2 so i have written here so that is equal to minus 1.5 so that value we have to write here minus 1.5 and then we have written these three values divided by 3 factorial. So 3 factorial multiplied with delta cube of y naught. What is delta cube of y naught? We have evaluated here. It is minus 0 0.1. So let me write that here. So minus 0 0.1. Now let us calculate each of these terms separately and we will write that is y is equal to. This comes as it is 14.5. And now here, what is 1 factorial? I already told you, 1 factorial is equal to 1. Okay, if you want, I will show you in the calculator also, for which we have to type 1, shift, and then this factorial we have here, factorial. So, we have got 1 factorial, which is equal to 1. So, I have, uh, that is 1. And we will multiply these two values, in, which is in the numerator, which is... 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 multiplied with 1.8 so 0 0.5 multiplied with 1.8 which is equal to 0 0.9 so plus 0 0.9 so now this value is over the this value is also over now we shall evaluate this value so plus now what is uh, 0 point uh, first of all we will calculate the signs so here it is plus minus and here minus so minus into minus plus so this full term is going to remain plus only so we have written plus here and then first we will calculate the numerator in the numerator we have 0 0.5 first already the sign is already calculated so now don't see the sign only the values 0 0.5 multiplied with 0 0.5 multiplied with 0 0.6 i am taking only the values not the sign because sign already we calculated minus into minus became became plus so we have written plus here also so only the values i am taking and so that will be equal to 0 0.15 so let me write that 0 0.15 divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial is actually 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 so if you want here in the calculator also i will show you for which you have to type 2 shift and then this factorial so we have got 2 factorial which is equal to 2 so if you see here we have got so i will write that 2 at the bottom and then this full term is finished now now we will go to this term now first we will do for the sign as I told you here plus so leave it minus into minus plus plus into minus minus so we have to write minus here so because we are having three negative signs it will become negative only so this term is negative if you are not able to uh, do so you can do it in the gal calculator also but carefully you should put the brackets and you should do it anyway so minus now we will calculate the numerator so what is there in the numerator if you see it is in the numerator you have 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 multiplied with 0 0.5 multiplied with 1.5 multiplied with 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.0375 so let us write the complete values so it is um, 0 0.0375 three seven five okay this is the numerator divided by 
3 factorial. Actually, 3 factorial is what? It's equal to 3 into 2 into 1, which is equal to 3 twos are 6. So, it should be 6 actually. So, anyway, I will show you in the calculator for which you have to do, type 3, then shift, then this factorial. So, you have got 3 factorial, which is equal to 6. So, that is what? So, divided by 6. So, let us simplify this further. So, that is equal to 14.5 plus 0 0.9 if it takes time also it's okay but patiently you do one by one so that you ignore the mistakes okay there, there is no mistake so 0 0.15 divided by 2 0 0.15 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.07075 uh, so let me write that 0 0.075 minus now this value that is 0. Point, so let me type 0. 0.0375 divided by 6 which is equal to this one that is 0. 0.0063 so 0. 0.0063 so now we have to simplify this further which is 14.5 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.075 okay and then minus 0 0.0063 so that is equal to 15.4687 is the answer so the answer is equal to 15.4687 so, this is the value of f of 2.5. So, that was the value to be interpolated, correct? So, f of 2.5 is 15.4687. This is the answer. Thank you.